A drag show in the heart of the Bible Belt? You heard that right. The venue is Buffington's and the performers are dressed to the nines. Akasha says she gets her inspiration from Beyonce. Tangerine says her character is modeled after Tina Turner, among others. Ravion says she prefers Donna Summers when she lip syncs. And Katrina says her main inspiration is Adore. You get to create this persona and be exactly what your imagination allows you to be. In a drag show, performers dress to the nines as their opposite gender and dance or lip sync to a song. The show raised money for the Pride Alliance organization at Georgia College. Katrina has been doing drag for a little over a year and got her start in Atlanta at the jungle. She loves the way she molds herself on stage. Akasha has been doing drag for about six years. Um, fresh out of high school, um, I graduated in 2010. I'm just enjoying drag. I've been doing it for six years, so it's something that I love and it's a passion of mine. She says she loves the energy from the crowd. Akasha has done drag throughout the Southeast. Tangerine got an early start in drag as well. I started out, I was 17 years old. Um, like Rebion said, I started out at, at a talent show. And um, my mentor uh, was Billy, Billy Boots, one of the legend, legends in drag. Uh, seen something in me and took me on her wing and taught me to art a female impersonator. I am in Maker. I am the oldest and longest living drag queen in Maker. She describes herself as a more laid back performer who prefers the old school style of drag. She likes to invoke the personas of Tina Turner, Mary J. Blige, Patti LaBelle, and Millie Jackson. My favorite part about drag is entertaining. You know, you never know what nobody's going through. And see, Billy taught me that it might be only one or two persons in the audience. That person paid to come and see you, so you got to give them your best. Ravion got her start because of a little bet. She has been doing drag for roughly 15 years and enjoys lip syncing to Donna Summers. Ravion loves the excitement and adrenaline rush, in addition to putting a smile on people's faces. Well, I hope that drag shows like this will bring more awareness to the LGBT community. Uh, living in Milledgeville, you know, it's a conservative town. It's the Bible Belt. So people have very conservative, reserved values about LGBT individuals. So we're hoping that things like this brings awareness to the community. The $200 raised at the drag show will help fund another drag show and trip to the Creating Change Conference in Chicago, among other events. Tonight was just one step towards spreading the pride. I'm Anthony Ponder with GC360.